What's up everybody? Check out this pork. It's the end of the day. We're at the end of a 10 hour cook. Stay tuned. I'll show you how we did it. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the patio. Today on the channel, we're gonna make some pulled pork. Got a pork shoulder here, bone in. Got the yoder firing away at 250. We have a mix of hickory and cherry in there. Cherry's gonna give us a little bit of sweetness, but more importantly, some nice color. And uh, you know, just gotta get this guy trimmed up. Now, everyone's got their own opinions on here. I personally don't like a real fatty pulled pork. And the, uh, the season doesn't really stick well to the fat. So I'm gonna trim off some of this fat cap. Get yourself a good sharp knife. Trying to take off too much of the meat. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you're gonna know that this is part two. Uh, unfortunately, I tried to do one uh, the other day and uh, just I ran out of daylight. Uh, so we're starting early this morning. I actually have not done a pork shoulder before or well, up until the other day. Normally I use another cut of meat just because I don't like the high fat, but uh, we'll do that on another show. Now remember, <laughs> there's a bunch of fat through here. This is not gonna make it all dried out or anything like that. And again, you can leave the fat on if you want. Some of the barbecue purists out there probably would uh, not be thrilled with me right now. That's okay. Barbecue is about having fun and making it your way. There's, you know, if there's only one way to do it, brisket would be boring. So once you got it all trimmed up, you're happy with it. Remember, it doesn't have to look perfect. We're doing pulled pork, no one's gonna know. Uh, we're gonna do a couple different things on the outside. Um, this is Grill Mates, another one of their uh, rubs. This is called Slow and, low, Slow and Low Memphis Pit Barbecue. Now, in my pork rib video, I did some baby back ribs, and I said I have been to nine different stores looking for a rub. This is it. Uh, you can get this at the grocery store or Amazon. It's delicious. I know I use a lot of grill mate stuff, um, but you know, back in the day, you know, 20 years ago when I first started, you could get this stuff in the grocery stores and they just kept changing out their flavors and it's always been good. I mean, they've, they've got some flops, don't get me wrong, uh, but they definitely have some winners that I uh, really like. And this one, highly recommended. What we're gonna do with it though, is we're also gonna put on some hardcore carnivore red, just for some color. Well, first, Need a little bit of a binder, just get some ordinary yellow mustard. Doesn't take much. We just want something for the rub to stick to. You're not going to taste this, so if you don't like mustard or whatever, you'll never taste it. Just put a nice coating on this guy and just press that into the meat. It'll absorb some moisture there. And I'm not gonna use a lot of this red. This red's got a lot of salt in it, uh, which is fine by itself, but I've already got salt in the other one. So I'm just, again, using this for some extra color. It'll add some flavor to it, but I want the color. It's, it's really bright and it'll look good when it's done. So press that in the meat, give it a second to tack up. And then we'll roll this guy over. We're 
ready. We're let the Yoder do its job now. We're at 250. It's just past the middle, and uh, we'll spritz it an hour, and that'll be about it. All right, so we're an hour in. Time to give it its first spray. So if you saw my uh, baby back rib video, I used something similar. This is one part apple juice, uh, half part red wine vinegar, and half part apple cider vinegar, and then about three quarters of a shot of rum, just for good measure. So all we're gonna do is give this guy a quick spray. just gonna help keep it moist. We're gonna do that every hour. So we're probably gonna have this go on for three to four hours before we wrap it. So I think two or three more sprays. We're three hours in, just wanna give it another spray real quick. Packing up really nicely. We're starting to get a good bark on it. We're probably gonna go for maybe, maybe another hour uh, and then we'll get ready to wrap it. Um, you know, we don't wanna get the outside too dark, but we do wanna give it some time to develop some bark. So we'll let it rest for an hour. We'll see if we start to get little pools of moisture. And when we start to see that, that's when we wanna get it wrapped. Four and a half hours in, looking great we've got the color that we want you can see some moisture around the bone and some moisture around the back I haven't sprayed this in about an hour so uh, really wanted to give a chance just to let that bark sit in but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get ready to wrap this up for reference it's around 140 degrees 145 I didn't uh, go all over but gives you an idea ultimately what, what you're trying to do here is we're, we're looking at color and uh, just a little bit of the juices coming out on the inside let's pull this guy off again great color really happy with how this is looking right now what we're going to do is we're going to give this guy a little bit of a spray. Now we're going to wrap this really tight. It's going to keep all the moisture in. I want to give a little bit of spray just because I've got a little bit of my seasoning left here and I'm just going to maybe give it a quick little coating on the outside. Now the trick here is you really want to wrap this tight. We don't want any juices escaping. We're also going to cook it up to temperature now. So. Want to get your probe in there, right in the middle. Stay away from the bone. So we're going to go on the meteor side. Go right, right in the middle. tight we got our probe sticking in mm -hmm. 
And at this point, there's nothing left to do. We just gotta wait till it gets up to about 198, 200 degrees, and we're done. All right, so as you can tell, the colors changed just a little bit, running at a, at a daylight. Uh, it's been eight and a half, almost nine hours. She's done. We're at about 199. Might have gone up to about 200 while I was getting everything ready, uh, but we're we're super close here. All we got to do now is just let this rest. Uh, we're going to let it rest for maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Obviously, I'm running out of light, so I'm going to rush it along a little bit. But thankfully, pork doesn't need to be rested a long time. We're, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to put it in a container and we're going to break it up. And when we break it up, all those juices and everything, they're going to get into the meat. So it's going to um, help distribute those juices through the meat. Now options. If you have more time and you're looking for a really nice looking uh, pork shoulder, pork butt, you can now take it out of this after it's rested, coat it with some sauce, put it back on, let it tack up. Or honestly, this is hot enough for if you just let this tack up for you know 10 minutes and then you break it apart, you can get that. I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to let it rest, break it up, give it a try, and I'll take it inside and make a couple sandwiches with it. All right, we're losing daylight quickly. It's been seven minutes. We got to open this guy up. I've got this in a, in a cookie tray. You're going to see real quickly, there's going to be a lot of juice in here. We want to keep all that juice because we want to get the meat in there. And that's what you call some nicely done pork. As you can see, our bone comes out super clean. We know it's done just right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over to the cookie sheet. Try not to, oh, it's, it wants to fall apart right away. <laughs> Shoot. All right. That, my friends, is well worth the entire day of cooking. Let me show you what this pork looks like. Uh, I mean, there's, <laughs> it just pulls apart. I mean, you can't ask for anything better than that. And when you're breaking this up, there's lots of juice here. Take this pork in there and let it break up or suck up the juice there. They call the money muscle right there. Hmm, that's hot. Mm. Full of flavor. Well worth the effort it takes to do something like this. Wish the light was better for you guys, but you can see what's going on. That's all I got for you this week. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next Saturday. Please like the video, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get notified of videos upcoming. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.